Okay, it's been brought to my attention by a friend of mine um, that for these tutorials I don't have anywhere for my code to sit in case anybody wants it and I'm relying on you guys to actually type it up as you go along, which is a great way to learn but if you do need the code itself uh, it should be somewhere. So I thought I would go through and create a GitHub account uh, to share code with anyone who might want it. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to go to GitHub dot com um, and you'll be greeted by this landing page you need to pick uh, a name for your account which is quite difficult if one isn't already taken this one I've already thought of called our git account there's a tick mark you can see it's fine to use I have the a email address that I use for my YouTube account and I'll create a password sign up right. uh, and there, there are different versions for git you can have a free account or a or a paid account uh, paid account you get to keep your work private and share it with whoever you want or restrict you can access it uh, with a free account it, it's virtually all public and ev everyone can see that so bear that in mind when you set this up I need to start the project Right, um, and then the next best thing to do is if you have a local Git repository on your machine which you can save to and then you can push up to Git for other people to share. So what you need to do is you need to download uh, Git Hub for your machine. So we can do that here. So if we do yeah, if you go to desktop.github.com you'll have a downloader here, it will detect your operating system so you can just download the version that you need you click there for download and you can see if I check my downloads whoop. if I check my downloads folder there you go, I have one already done uh, so what, once you have this, if you just double click here you can open your application you need to add a repository so what you need to do is if you here you need to sign in so if you sign into your git account what you can do is you essentially you clone which is like a copy of your github account that you've just created online here's so your username email addresses Go. Got the email wrong. Ah, okay. What's happened is I need to verify my email address first. That's the first thing I need to do. Just do that quickly. There you go. Right. Let's close these. So first thing to do is just create a default project. So once you've done that, here again, you can't create a private access one. Project name is my first project, for example. And here if you type sample project. And if you initialize with a repository with a readme, what it will do is it will create a text document uh, with this brief description in of what actually is in the repository and it's good for other people to know yeah and there you have your git repository um, so now if you go back to the bit with the, the desktop installer here yeah, now this should actually work, I should be able to log in now and there you go, so if I clone my repository there you go, you can see that's there. And you can see here, there is a folder path here. This is where it will actually store this folder. And there you go. So if we now look, if we now look in Finder, go to Git, you can see there is our project and there is our README file. So now, for example, say you, you do some more work. 
what you do is you, you copy your file to your local repository where you will have an actual copy and then when you want the rest of the world to see it you can push up to your git repository for everyone else to have uh, so what we'll do is we'll navigate to this folder I'll just make that a bit bigger for everyone and you can see there's just the readme file I'll see it my first there you go that's the readme and so for example say if we make a file with let me echo this into a hello world document you can see there we now have a hello world document and if you look back in our finder there you will see hello world with the text hello world and now you will see here in your local desktop git, git desktop repository you will see the new file hello world and what we want to do is you put here you have a summary so this is where you outline what you have done and why for other people to see so just call it test file so you commit this to your master project so it will stay within your local repository now here you see history and then what you need to do is you click push to origin so if you look at your online git account this file doesn't exist within this repository yet so what you'll actually need to do is you need to push and then now if you check here if you refresh your screen here you will see your hello world document and then that briefly is how you use git so you, for you to save files on your local machine and to push up for the web for everyone else to see. So in any future tutorials, I will save my work in this repository. I will link the description link in the description, and then you'll, it will be available for everyone on Git to have a look and take copies if they want. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.